White as snow. I could. Oh, I just love it. We want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh shot my shiver cup with us. Double honor to the apostle Elvis. Great meal song that rule well. So I'll take some all the Akim out here that's pushing his word and Siri and truth. Hey, um, Shalawan, y'all, Sharada. You know, we back again, um, another lesson to what prophesy the downfall of America. Really, it's all about prophecy. Nothing else really matters, right? Nothing else really matters. You got these cats, man, these different camps. They talk about black Israelites only. That's not part of the gospel, right? You got these other cats in the camp talking about Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior. That's not the gospel. What else? They talking about America could be saved. Esau could be saved. That's not the gospel, right? So that's why the Lord set up the elders and the apostles, the great millstone, and the men under to what? To preach the truth, right? It's all about truth. And a lot of people, they, ain't, they don't want no truth. They don't, that's like telling an ugly broad, hey, baby, you don't look no, you don't look too good, baby. She don't want to hear that shit. That's why she don't do that fake eyelashes, the fake hair, the, 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 the clothes, you know, trying to, trying to be something she's not. That's America. America trying to be something they not. That's great. Facade. Right? That facade. They talking about make America great again. America will never be great again. Those days are gone, right? You had them, them happy days where you had the, the Edomites, man. They, they two, two, um, one, one parent working, two car garage, right? The, the kids are listening to the parents. No drug addiction, no, no division. Them days is over, man. So what? Well, we coming to the coming of our Lord and Savior. How about Shimei Yes. Right. So let's kick it off in the book of Acts. Go ahead, brother. Uh, Acts chapter 1, verse 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, would thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? Right, because that's what's about to happen, the restoration of the children of Israel. Right, the restoration of the children of Israel. Not the, chi not the Israelis, <laughs> right, because the Israelis are so-called in that land that they don't belong in. The Israelis are really Edomites. There, there's no such thing as white people. Just like there's no such thing as black people. They call the Chinese yellow people. They call the Mexicans brown people. And you ask yourself, what stupid people came up with this shit? Color, right? color. What fucking idiot oh came up God. with this bullshit? <laughs> right? Because nobody's that, none of them colors. Right? Read that again, beloved. Acts chapter 1, verse 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, Will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Yep, you going. And he said unto them, and this is Yahweh Shai and Red speaking, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father Yahweh had put in his own power. Yeah, the kingdom about to be restored back to the Israelites, right? Not all men, right? The kingdom of heaven is not for all men. When one of you brothers get a chance, find some of the priests, not you, brother, you read. Or whatever I'm talking about, brothers, flying some priests. The kingdom of heaven ain't for all men. Keep reading, soldier. Yeah. Verse 8, but, and this is Yahweh Shai again. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And that's part of the restoration, right? That's part of you remembering yourselves, right? Because you lost your fucking identity. To what? White white supremacy right your children was not taught about your history they was taught about white masters history how white master took over the world right from europe from france from spain right all these different european countries taking over the world so they didn't tell you about how you was a holy people at one time and how you felt from the grace of the lord right how you was the, the number one chosen people in the scriptures no, they didn't tell you about that because it's not in their best interest to, to tell you about
chapter 1 verse 11 which also said ye men of Galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven this same Yahweh Shai which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven yeah so the Lord's going to return back with the chariots man what they ignorantly call the UFOs it's well really they, they right they have an identity they did not identify the unidentified flying objects Right, even till right now, they don't know what it is. They don't know that's a chariot to the Lord, right? Because he saw in his mind, he's all into this science fiction. He's into this science fiction madness, right? Like Jesus Christ, this is a science fiction character. It's a bullshit, but it's made up. It's an idol. Yeah, it's an idol. Never, he never existed. And he ain't coming to back to save nobody, man. Look, when he was on earth, he can save himself, right? That motherfucker actually lived, but he didn't live as a man called Jesus. Christ. He lived as um, the, the son of Pope Francis. Uh, Pope, Pope, Pope Alexander VI. Yeah. 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 That was the Pope's son. And yeah. what, what was he set up for? To deceive the people, right? Because this was the image they took to the Native Americans. It's the same image they introduced to the people they took to the West Coast of Africa. It's the same image they took to the four corners of the earth to deceive the people, man. It's all about deception. Bring out the scripture I have from early record. Revelation 10 9. Revelation 10 9. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up. And it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And what is this book talking about? The scripture. Right, when you read in the scriptures, man, the scriptures ain't talking about no made up character who's about to save everybody. The scriptures talk about a savior who was sent for his people, right? He is not sent but unto what? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. And we're gonna stay on that topic because that's the main confusion, right? Because with this image came what? False information, right? A false thing, false information, and false hope from a false people. People who are not the people of the Lord. Keep reading. Revelation 10, 10. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth, sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many people and nations and tongues and kings. Yeah, so when the prophets gonna prophesy again, what, what are they gonna prophesy about? Are they going to change the doctrine? Right? Are they going to come speaking Israelites united in Christ? Or are they going to speak whatever they was taught in the past? Right? Whatever they learned in the past. Because all you're going to do is remember the things that you lost. The former things. Right? Like the scriptures say in 1 Peter, the third chapter. Remember yourselves. Right? Through the remembrance, you know that you're not an African American. You're not a Latino or Hispanic. You're Israelite. You're not a native of America, right? And the speckled birds scattered abroad, you already know you ain't the same as those people because you don't get the same love in the country as those people. No. Your ass at the bottom. Hey, you can't get no love. Mm. Look at a, a Negro and Hispanic in America. They got to become whores and murderers and sellouts just to get looked at as some important in this society, that. right? So they set up to what? To lose. Really, they set up to lose because guess what? Esau going to turn on you. The Lord ain't with your ass either. Mm -hmm. Right, keep reading. Okay, come. Read what you got. So we got a book that's talking about what? The children of Israel, who are you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and deliverance is coming to who? The elect of those people. That's who it starts with. That's who it starts with. And the prophets were set up to prophesy that. Nothing else. Right? We ain't here to make these people feel good. We're not here to pass out meals, right? We're not here to become best friends with the people of society hand out blankets and hand out backpacks at school events. That is not our job. Our job is to 
profess the downfall of America. And give the nation of Israel warning from me, from the Lord. This Revelation 6 and 4. It says, And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. That's talking about the so called white man. Right? The so called white man, he was set up to what? To take peace from the earth. Right? Underneath his rulership, he has taken peace from the earth. And then has been replaced with what? Adultery, um, fornication, idol worshiping, murder, slander, right? Anything that's against the righteousness of Yahweh Hashim Yahushai, that's what this devil promotes. So if you're an Israelite, you wake up to the truth. You need to be against this system. Good. It talks about yeah. come out from amongst them and be ye separate. Yeah. And I will receive you. But here you are, no man. No man, this is all I knew. My, this is a tradition. My yeah. parents did it. Yeah. My great great grandparents did this. You, hey. you about to celebrate Halloween and um and Thanksgiving. Yeah, because that's what they follow, the traditions of men. Go ahead, brother. Uh, it says, uh, it said to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto them a great sword. Yeah, so Esau got that great sword and he's about to utilize it very soon. He's about to utilize it very soon. Really, the message is what? This is the end of this man's system. The Lord's about to come back and deliver us before these fuckers kill each other. Right? We got this civil war that's about to break out in America. Right? <laughs> that civil war is going to be beautiful. They showed you a movie, Civil War. That ain't come close to what's about to happen, man. The scriptures talk about, man, you ain't never... They're going to be selling fried motherfucking human legs down the street. And the police ain't going to be able to do shit about it. Right? Because the Bible talks about a famine. It talks about a pestilence. It talks about the plagues. Read that again. Revelation 6 and 4. And there, and there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him. That, you know what? That ain't the right verse 12, I think it was. God be hell when he had opened the six years. Revelation 6 and 12. And I behold, when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. That was the first and the sun became black as sackcloth of the hair and the moon became as blood and the star of heaven fell unto the earth even as a fig tree casted his untimely figs yeah that's something about the missiles dropping right the missiles dropping right before our lord comes to deliver us it's going to be a nuclear war Right? The nations are going to fire on each other. And right in the midst of it, the Lord's going to what? Deliver his people. Because ain't going to be no way your ass on in America you're going to deliver. You're going to survive with nuclear blasts coming from China, Russia, North Korea, and these other countries, right? It talks about the city going to be broken into 10 parts, right? This place is going to be uninhabitable, right? I don't give a fuck how, how deep you're going to dug a bunker. They ain't going to make it. They ain't going to make it. It says a fire devour before them and behind, right? What's that? Man, and it says, none shall escape. <laughs> none shall escape. Yeah, go ahead, read that again, beloved. It says, behold, no, no, it said, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken from, from off a mighty wind. So like, yeah, peace and destruction. All right, that fiery wind that's going to sweep the land, it's going to make the earth rock to and fro like a drunkard. All right, the Lord's bringing the lines of confusion. You're not going to be able to tell Illinois from Wisconsin, Indiana, Texas. All right, all the elements are going to melt, man. You see? And, and it's here upon us, man. It is very close. It says, and the heavens departed as a scroll. When it is no, exactly what the brother was talking about. That's something about that fire. He go. He says, as they roll together, and every mountain 
and island were moved out of their place. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bond man and every free man hid themselves in the, de in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. Yeah, that's the, you see these devils, they know what's coming, right? These fucking um, old school Christians, they read the Bible, right? The, the so-called white Bible Belt Christians, they read about the destruction. Yeah. They know that's talking about a nuclear blast, especially once that technology started busting out on them, right? After the um, Hiroshima and Hagasaki got trapped. They, that was the first sign of a, 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 a sign of a bomb blast. But Esau been dropping all type of bombs. Esau done even, how can they say, perfected his craft, right? You got um, Russia, they got one called the Great Satan. Satan too. Satan too. Satan too. It, yeah. uh, one of them can wipe out all Texas. Four of them can wipe out all of America. And there's more coming. It says in uh, 200,000 thousand. You know what I'm saying? So each pistol is going to have multiple warheads. All right, you're going to have Russia, Iran. You're going to have America's allies turn on them. All right. And they're gonna hate the hurt, the whore, and beat her on burn her with fire. They're gonna burn that bitch. Yes, sir. That's the second death. That's what's coming, man. I'll beat that bitch. The Lord has, the Lord has a great sacrifice in Bosworth by Isaiah 34. <laughs> and how you gonna escape? That's the main question. How you gonna escape? You can't escape through the blast. Right? They even show you they got a face mask. Like you could um you could escape that radiation. Nah, uh, yeah, so right. That's bullshit. <laughs> What they used to tell the motherfuckers oh, in the 50s, shit. go in your basement and um, hide and yeah, do a table. Yeah. Like a table is going to protect you from a nuclear blast. Right? This man's really making a document. This is crazy. Him and the elites, they got money to go run and hide. But you poor motherfuckers, you ain't got shit. Yeah. Just going to run around and like they show you that one movie. What is that, in the 80s, where the missiles got shot off? And all you see is people running around in fucking circles with nowhere to go. Well, you saw it recently, a few years ago, the, you know, in Hawaii, you know what I'm saying? That that false alarm of a nuclear warhead going that way, people were bugging out. Some people uh, hid in the sewer cap, you know what I'm saying? Man, one day threw his daughter in the sewer, yeah? That's not going to save you, man. The only way out of this is to turn back to your hollow by Shemiel Shaikh for your so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians, and you speckled murder is like warriors. All right? Only the Lord can deliver us, man, and he will. You see? Not two thirds. On the two thirds, there's no salvation. So there's no hope. Yeah, and also the heathen. Ain't no hope in your salvation either. They don't have a God. Uh -huh. Uh, verse 16. And said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. Yeah, so so, who the fuck? First off, the Lord bring destruction. So I don't know who the hell y'all praying to. I don't know who the hell y'all asking to help from. But what the Lord going to do, the Lord going to make that your tool, right? That fucking, um, what is that? That doomsday prep and shit, right? That bunker is going to be your, really your coffin. That's going to be the coffin for you and your family. You guys going to probably turn into cannibal cannibalists in that motherfucker. Right in the pocket for tell you, they that flee into the mountains. They shall die of hunger. You have a push up. Right? They that go to the mouth shall die of hunger. You get second as you're 16 by push up. Right? Ain't gonna be no escape of what's coming. Right? In the book of Isaiah, the Lord said, man, um, he's bringing this destruction. Right? It's the time of his judgment. What is the time of you to fear him? Because that's what the earth don't have to fear the Lord. They fear of not having no money. Right? That's what they fear. But they about to have not have nothing pretty soon. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. But this is 2nd Ezra 15, verse 58. They that be in the mountains shall die of hunger and eat their own flesh and drink their own blood. Is there some more in that if you go back a little bit? Yeah, uh, let me start up. 2nd uh, Ezra chapter 15, uh, verse 56. Like as thou, like as thou hast done unto my chosen, saith the Lord Yahweh. Even so shall the Most High do unto thee, and shall deliver thee into mischief. Yeah. Thy children shall die of hunger, and thou shalt fall through the sword. Thy city shall be broken down, and all thy shall perish with the sword in the field. Right, because you got a lot of women right now. They ain't having no kids. So you fucking women who are having kids, man. 
your fucking children gonna perish. Yeah. Right? You gonna fucking eat your children. Like it says in the scriptures, woe to uh dumb that gives you those things. things. Yeah. Right? You know? It says uh um, they wives, their children gonna be dashed to pieces and they fucking women ravaged. Yeah. That's what the scriptures say. Yeah. Go ahead. Second Ezra's 15, verse 58. They that be in the mountains shall die of hunger and eat their own flesh and drink their own blood for very hunger of bread and thirst of water. Yeah, it's gonna get fucking desperate, right? It's gonna get desperate. It's gonna get, um, motherfuckers gonna be able to contain themselves, man. Right? Do a lack of bread. Hunger, right? You see my motherfuckers acting that commercial, man, when the dude is hungry, man. He turned into a whole different person to get him a Snicker bar. Yeah. He turned right back to whoever hey guys, he was. They're taking over your thunder. What happened? Oh, it's okay. The band, they're taking over Don't your thunder. Don't no, no, thunder. Don't let them be. Yeah, they're they all good. It's just... No, it's just... Yeah, but if, if I may, uh, Lamentations 49. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these, by the way, stricken for one of the fruits of the field, the hands of the pitiful women have sodden their own children. Yeah, these bitches gonna turn on their kids, man. Especially the American woman. The American woman, the most whole life woman on earth. She gonna turn on her fucking child, man. That bitch, that funky hoe, man, who ain't got, you can't trust her. Right, all she do is turn on her baby daddies. She's known for aborting her own fucking kids. Right, this is the most stupidest bitch on earth. Right, and this is the bitch who gonna bring your whole house all down. Especially all you niggas trusting in that pussy. Well, the, the house is uprooted for the, for, the, for the woman, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, through her, we all died, yeah, out there. Yeah. Right, you had these funky ass hoes. They also gonna be attracting animals. The wild beasts in the field, because there ain't gonna be no water for them to wash that ass. Hey! Right? A lot of you, hey, a lot of you men, you gonna turn on your women, because she ain't gonna find no makeup, no hair weave, so that bitch used that yeah. big hoe. You, you, you had a, a week ago going to turn into Monster. Sasquatch. <laughs> yeah, Monster. You don't turn on her, man. Right? The Bible talk about the love of many wax and gold. Prepare for those signs. Get that second edge. I got a little more. Come on, man, bring it out. Uh, back in Lamentations 4 and 10, they were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people. Yeah, because um, what happened? The destruction of Israel about to come back again in the time of what um, Jacob's trouble. Right? Yeah, the Bible, time like the other. Come on, kill him. Where would they talk about? Um, he shall be saved out of it. It's going to be so bad. It's going to take for the Lord to send angels back to intervene to save us. Right? Because what, what does that consist of? A lot of dead Israelites. Right? And who's, who's the most of our nation? These women. Right? The, the bad motherfucker about to judge is you black and Hispanic women, man. Bring out what you got, so. In 2nd Ezra 16 and verse 1, it says, Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Assyria. Verse 2, gird up yourselves with clothes of sack and hair. Be, be well your children and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. Verse 3, a sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? Verse 4, a fire is sent among you. And who may quench it? Verse 5. Plagues are sent unto you. And what is it, or is he, that may drive them away? May any man drive away any hunger. Hey, it's like, hey what, what is this song about? It's song about what's coming that nobody can stop it, right? You have the financial collapse. It's all about pump as much money in the system as we can to fix the system, give the people loans. Um, put money, more money in the banks. They did that. Did that help anything? Not at all. Not at all. Right? I remember one time they done gathered all the fucking Christian preachers together and then brought them to D.C. Or wherever they had them, they had a prayer. Pray for them. Pray for America. Yeah, I think it was yeah, pray for America. Pray for hope. Don't pray for that shit didn't help. <laughs> that shit didn't help. It worse. So money didn't help. Prayers didn't help. <laughs> what else? That witchcraft ain't helping, man. They put fucking satanic statues in front of um over um different political businesses and like buildings right you go to the um the city bu building and they got a fucking half man half woman statue of baphomet throwing up signs right so we already know this place ben gave the spirit over to satan right the only solution for this place hey man read that again uh, which one you want to start the topic or? 
Lord about to drop a missile in America's pussy. And you can't rescue America. Because America is a filthy whore, right? It's known as the harlot, right? And it says the nations have committed fornication with the harlot, with the whore, which is America. That's why the American woman have a whore spirit. Go ahead. The second Ezra 16 and verse 1. It says, Woe well be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe well be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. It says, verse 2, gird up yourselves with clothes of sack and hair. Be well, your children, and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. Yeah, America's destruction is at hand, right? It's going to be one day, everything's okay, and the next day, oh shit, there's no more food coming to America. Oh shit, the lights are cut off in America. Oh shit, all of the police done quit in America. Oh shit, no firefighters are responding in America. Oh shit, America's fucked up. Right, that's your next reality. Oh shit, America's through. Right, look at the homelessness. You can't put all these drug addict Americans back into this society and expect them to be functional. Yeah. Hell no, man. They not on just marijuana, they on fucking fentanyl, on um, heroin, cocaine, all type of shit that I made up in a lab that they be like, man, this motherfucker fucked up. They could hardly even stand up. Right? Man, they love that boy pussy, man. You go check their fucking computer. They all they got is a history of chasing boy pussy. So you can't trust this motherfucker around kids. Hey. You can't trust this stuff. Keep reading. Verse 3. A sword is sent upon you. And who may turn it back? Hey, who the fuck is gonna stop the judgment of your how by shit outside? Right? You got these stupid ass politicians, boy. They thinking they're gonna stop the judgment of the Lord. They, no, they think they're gonna rebuild America, right? Donald Trump in his mind ain't thinking about rebuilding America. And they got court cases. And he busy fighting court cases. Right? Kamala Harris is too dumb to do anything for America. Right? So that's not the solution. Keep reading. Verse 4. A fire is sent among you, and who may quit it? That's why we got this sign. That's the future of a lot of you Americans. Your flesh is going to be burnt off your homosexual bodies, off your satanic bodies, right? Off your drug addicted bodies, right? That's off your lesbian bodies, right? <laughs> right? That's the future of America. Go ahead. Verse 5. Plagues are sent unto you, and what? Is it then may drive them away? The plagues are sent. The plagues are sent, right? Right? Why are we so close to the time of what um, a Great Depression? Right? You think about the Great Depression, no, man, that was back in the past. No, guess what? America's headed to a Great Depression. Right? It's the greatest depression ever. A depression you won't be able to get out of, man. Right? Go ahead. Verse 5, plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Verse 6, may any man drive away hunger, a hungry lion in the, in the wood? Or may anyone quench the fire in stubble when it have begun to burn? Yeah, because it's, it's already burning. Right, the wheels are already turning. Right, the lion, he already smelled the blood. Right, these aren't made, the prey don't even see them. Right? America's the prey. And the Russians, the motherfucking um, Persians, the mother nations, they're the lion, right? They see them. That's how we get this whore. Oh, yeah. This whore been living prideful than the motherfucker. This whore owes money. This whore done polluted our people. It's time to get this whore. Right? They, that's, they waiting for the perfect time when the Lord give them the green light. That's right. That's the perfect time when the Lord gives them the green light. They can't move on their own. They got to wait for the Lord to hit them. Hit them motherfuckers. That's what's going to happen. Read that line again. It says, May any man that drive away a hungry lion in the wood, or may any one quench the fire in stubble when it have begun to burn, Verse 7, may one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong bow. Verse 8. Hey, the scriptures of course that I wounded you with a wound of an enemy. Right? 
Right, that's America right now. It's been moving with a wound of enemy, man. Let's bring it out, brothers. Jeremiah 51 and 9. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone, into his own country. Yeah, America is Babylon. The word Babylon means confusion, right? America is the place of confusion, right? That's why a man could act like a woman in America. A woman could act like a man, but it's okay. In other countries, hey, kill that retarded motherfucker. <laughs> What's wrong with this motherfucker, man? Right? <laughs> right? Anywhere else, ain't nobody dealing with that bullshit. It's yeah. In America, at one time, it, it was a disease for you to be a, a broke back motherfucker. Or a lesbian. Or a lesbian. But now it's okay, because guess what? These devils are all about money. One thing these broke back motherfuckers in America like to do is make money. A gay motherfucker spend a lot of money in America. That's why they got rights. If it wasn't for that man, it's all part of population control. The more faggots, the less children. Yeah. So they know what they're doing. Yeah, these fuckers serve no purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, keep reading. Jeremiah 51 and 9. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Yeah, America ain't gonna be here. Look at these men. They ain't ready for no fucking conflict whatsoever. A Chinese will whoop all their ass. An Arab will whoop their ass. An East Indian will whoop their ass, right? They gay. Look at them. They ain't ready for no fucking combat, but they women are. They women think they tough until somebody grab them by the pussy. Right? That's why Donald Trump said grab them by the pussy, man. He knew what he was talking about. You got to check a hoe. You got to check a hoe. Go ahead. For safe and let us go everyone into his own country. Yeah, it's so bad in America. People said they're leaving America. Even Americans are leaving America. Man, they tired of looking at each other. Look at them. They look sick. They look retarded. Right? And they fucking look dumb as hell. Brainless. Baby Huey looking bitches, right? What else too, man? They watching all this cartoon. Now they got cartoons for grown-ups. Right? And these cartoons ain't something for edification. It's for stupidity, the Simpsons. Um, King of the Hill. Family guy. Family guy. Mark Morty. Yeah. What did I say? Mark and Morty. Yeah. Uh, Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Beavis and Butthead. This ain't for kids. This is for these grown ass Americans, man. Keep going. For judge. Look, at, look at this shit, right? You got a broke black motherfucking man, sweeter than a motherfucker. It's now all over. Man. For a judgment is to heaven and is lifted upon heaven, even into the sky. Yeah, you should be looking for the destruction in this place, man. Right? These people, they got the spirit of Lot's wife. Right? Let's get that. Let's make it that. Lot's wife. That's what these people got the spirit of Lot's wife. They love this place. They don't want to let it go. Right? Because hey, guess what? Man, my family's part of this system. Yeah, my parents celebrated Christmas. My family celebrate Halloween. Hey, monkey see, monkey do. Right? And hey, who the spirit in the car, y'all by sitting outside. We got to thank the Lord multiple times for pulling us out of this deep slumber, man. Uh, darkness. This darkness, bro. This death. Go ahead. This is Genesis 19 and verse 23. I'm going to start at 22. Haste thee, escape thither, for I cannot do anything till thou become thither. Therefore the name of the city was called Zoar. The sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zoar. Then Yahweh reigned upon Sodom and Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from Yahweh out of heaven. And that was a good thing, right? We're looking for the same destruction, right? That's why the Lord said he's coming back with fire. Fire to burn all these stupid ass fucking Americans. Right? America's the only fucking country on earth that's gonna be burnt up and not to be re-inhabited again. Cause you people are so fucking filthy. Right? You stupid, retarded, black and Hispanic motherfuckers. You are the chosen people, but you acting like you're the, the motherfucker who done took you down. The so-called white man. What, through integration? Right? You done sold the fuck out. You done forgot who you are as a person. So you gotta die with the cracker. You gotta die with master. Right? When master go, you go <laughs> simultaneously, goddammit. Read that again, soldier. Then Yahweh reign upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from Yahweh out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain. Hey, the Bible says, um, he that justify the wicked, your prayers is an abomination. Right? You got certain people that ain't even with that homosexual fucking agenda. But hey, let him do what he want to do. That's not my problem. Yeah, you justifying the fucking wicked. Brother. You make an excuse for these fucking devils, man. For these abominable men. 
right? Ungodly men. Baba Kusha, bring it up. Verse 25, and he overthrew those cities and all the plain and the inhabitants of the cities that which grew up on the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. Yeah, she became a pillar of salt, right? So we told you, the scripture says, come out from among them and be separate. Separate yourselves from these weirdos in this fucking society. These weird ass people, boy. Yeah, these Christians, these Muslims, right? These people are all into politics. Right? It's not American, it's not into nothing whatsoever. You just go all out. You serve no purpose. Right, you're into yourselves. Right, you're going to talk about it at the end of times. They're going to be work lovers of their own selves. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous. Right, all these things is happening right now. So the scripture says, come out from among these spirits and be separate. And the Lord said he will accept us. That's what we got to do. You got to retrain your fucking spirit. Well, the Lord got to reprogram you. I'll give a fuck how hard you try to retrain your spirit. You ain't going to know goddamn where the Lord to program you to go somewhere. Yeah, you. Ecclesiasticus, also known as Rock 17, verse 25. Return unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh I mean, forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. Verse 26. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity, for he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of hell and hate thou abomination vehemently. So we gotta hate the things that we used to do, man, the old man, right? The ways of this world, man, which leads to death and destruction and oppression. We gotta hate that and put that off, man, all right? And put on as the new man, put on as the elect, and rehearse these righteous acts. And fear Yahweh and keep the, the, the laws and the commandments to the best of our ability, man. And warn Israel, you know, eat this whole row up and, and warn our people, man. To get the elect, we're fishing for the elect, the nation. James 4 and 4. Ye dopes, dopes, know ye not that the friendship of the world is here to Yahweh. Whosoever therefore be a friend of the world is an enemy of Yahweh, man. So all you niggas running around here trying to be worldly and building this wicked ass world, do this world. Lord, man, you know, everything you do is against the Lord, man, you know, you want to build here, you want to uh, society to just wicked ass weirdos dancing around, oh, that's okay, they can be okay, man. as long as they're not in my house, no, no, hell no, man, the Lord is against every fucking place, man, this place is, uh, 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 gives rules to wickedness, man, you know, the homos, the alphabet community, they got their own little society down the street here, man, I mean, they give, they give Israel a license to sin, to follow after their own ways, man. All right, that Gentile state of mind. We gotta come out of that and, re and return to the old paths, you see? He said in their society, man, because that's not, that's not regular, right? That's not regular, man. That's why it's against nature, right? They, pro they profess and promote anything that's against nature. When we say against nature, that was naturally created, a man and a woman to be together, right? Go ahead, my brother. It's Romans 12 and verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. All right, that's what the Most High got us out here doing, to, uh, teaching and preaching our people and warning them that the Lord is about to destroy this place. If you don't flee from this place mentally, all right, because you got to flee mentally before you flee physically, man, by the Lord, before you get beaten up on them chariots, man. You have to flee mentally. All right, that's verse two. And be not conformed to this world, but ye be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So let's get that word conform in the Greek. It says to conform oneself, i.e. one's mind and character to another's pattern. Fashions oneself according to, like the elder brother just said, they gave our people license to sin. Now our people follow after the heathens, man. All right? But it said by the renewing of your mind. So let's get that word for renewing. It says that renewal, renovation, complete change for the better. All right, so putting off the ways of death, which is the ways of Esau, Edom, and putting on Yahweh Bashim al which is the way of life. All right, no, no longer accepting uh, Moism, man. No, no longer accepting a woman being over a man. All right, the scripture said the 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 the, the course of the uh, the 
Hey, the base of this world is upside down, man. All right, in Psalms 82. All right, and the Lord is going to turn it uh, right side up, but it starts with us, man. It starts with us proclaiming to this devil in his face. All right, wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1, that he's the fucking devil. He's going to go down. All right? It says that he may prove what is that good, that acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. All right, that's what it is about, man. That's what we out here for. Hey, we truly love you people, man. We truly love the Israelites. All right, not you fucking pastors, man. The elect, the elect, the elect. All right, we truly love the elect, man. These niggas just, these niggas doing it for filthy lucas sake. Yeah, and um, and their testimony is um uh, to please them. All right, they're not here to, to fulfill, fulfill the lot of the Lord, which is prophesying the downfall of these countries, man. Right, because the Bible said the prophets that have been before me, we can get that Bible yeah. shot. That's a classic verse. Right, the prophets didn't come to, like I said, they weren't handing out fucking backpacks for school. Right? They weren't um, handing out soups at a soup kitchen. Well, hey man, I asked some of the prophets, man, you got any money? He said, hey nigga, you let him, man, my foot don't live by bread alone, man. What the fuck from around here? Right? In other words, man, this ain't that type of show. Right? We're here to give you this gospel. That's it. That's probably good shot. Jeremiah 28, and I'm going to start at 7. Nevertheless, hear thou this word that I speak in thine ears. And the, in the ears of all the people, the prophets that have been before me. How the hell are you going to speak in the ears of all the people if you're hidden in the church house? <laughs> right? You got Pastor Ben Gay, because that's what he smelled like. <laughs> Old mother, the prep motherfucker, about to die. He's just been talking to the same 17 people for 30 years. Has been funding his lifestyle. <laughs> Pass that tray again. Pass that shit around. No. Well, that's why you get mad when a member leaves. That's money that doesn't left. A lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. That's tax free money. Yeah, because yeah, the Lord said, I have lost none. Right. But Pastor, like, man, we lose the members. What's yeah. <laughs> going on? Lose the members. Yeah, because that ain't the house of the Lord, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, man. Don't leave your wife or your daughter around. Or your son. Yeah. Yeah. Down for the black community right now. People that got their uh, wife around, Pastor. Pastor, number one, that Reverend, uh, Reverend Dickie, that, that legal ass Dickie. Hey, 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 we know these people don't read that book because if they did, they would have heard this first. It's Acts 17 and uh, 17 and 6. It says, And when they found them not, and they drew. Ja oh, that ain't it. It's 24. It's my bad. 17 and uh, verse 24, it says, God that made the, the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands, man. So we know that Lord ain't in these places, man, that these people that built up, made all pretty and shit like that, putting all demon statues, all type of shit, false gods in there. Hey, the Lord ain't dealing with that, man. He's dealing with those men that came off and did what our Lord and Savior did. He came to speak uh, uh, to, to all the people. And the, the, the boy say, uh, the broad gate, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, we out here doing what the Lord did. We're not in the church. We, and that's not where the Lord is at. Yeah, this is the actual church here, a man calling out. You know what I mean? Whether they hear or forbid, we're looking for the elect, and that's it. Everybody else, everybody else is going to be condemned. So I'm going to keep reading The prophets that have been before me and before the apostles prophesied both against many countries and kingdoms and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So that's the job of the prophets. We are here to prophesy the downfall of this kingdom, uh, just like we prophesy the downfall of the, uh, of the last great kingdoms, man. All right, also giving out that warning to our own people that if you don't repent, you're going to get taken down with this kingdom. That's the whole message. All right, that's true love, man. Yeah, Isaiah 42, verse 9, Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. And how does he tell you? He speaks through his prophets. All right, the Lord does nothing but reveal his secrets to his servants, the prophets, man. That you see on the highways and byways, teaching this word week in and week out. All right, giving you, giving you warning from your howl about Shemiah Shai. All right, because great judgment is about to come visit this place, man. You see, and once we're not on the highways and byways, once we're not online anymore, that famine of the word, you know, Abel's eight. Hey, it's just pure judgment for you two terrorists, man, that are outside 
uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right now is the time of salvation, man. Come now and repent before it's too late. Turn to the Lord and, and tarry not. You see? I have one for you. Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom yeah. cries with doubt. She uttered for a voice in the street. All right, the prophets are in the streets, man. All right? She cries in a chief place of concourse. In the opening of the gates in the city, she uttered for words say It says the chief place of concourse. Look, everyone's driving, everyone's right, uh, walking through here. All right, every nation will make you their judgment, man. All right? That's the point. That's the message. Okay? How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity and the scorn of the light? And they're scorning and fools hate knowledge. Yeah, that's why they're not paying us no attention whatsoever. Right? And the Lord blocked their eyes and blocked their ears. Right? Matter of fact, get down to it. And make sure that they don't get nothing. Because this is not for them. Right? This is a, um, a solemn assembly. Even though we're in the midst of a bunch of people. This is only for the elect. This is only for chosen people, man. That's why it says, my sheep heareth my voice. These people are not the sheep of the Lord. They're the sheep of Satan. They're the sheep of the devil. <laughs> right? Go ahead. Yep. Hey, because the sheep simply just follow. Really, sheep dumb as hell, man. Yeah, yeah. They gonna follow whatever hey, direction. But it says in John 10, my sheep hear my voice, like the elder said, man. So the men of Yahweh by Shem the the, the one third will hear the, the voice of the Lord, which is the mouthpiece of the prophet. And you ain't gotta argue with them back and forth about this gospel. Brother, prove it to me, brother. But this, hey brother, if that's what you believe, man, going about your fucking business. Yep. That's a one or two admonition, okay? And the least look at the people as loyal, like you said, and this type of people. Because uh -huh. so they corral all of you. That's what just happened not too long ago with that jump shot. They corralled all y'all, made y'all take that jump yep. shot. Uh -huh. yep. You know what I'm saying? You loyal, you stupid ass people. Yeah, human cattle. Yep. Yep. And they got the shepherd dogs, which is the so called uh, the, the, the leaders, the, the quote unquote celebrities, the quote unquote pastors. All right, the false prophets, man. They the ones that they use to keep the niggas in line. Good job. They do a damn good job. Yeah, man, them niggas got blood on their hands, man. Hey, and yeah. they, IUIC, they, all them niggas are part of it, man. Because we, we believe through the spirit that they took the bag. <laughs> oh, yeah, they took the bag, man. Shit. The bag. The spirit ain't got to tell you that. You can see that shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is Isaiah 6 and 10. Make the hardest people the fact. Make more sloppy for what you just said. The spirit is revealing it to us. Because the spirit is the truth. They're going against the spirit. That's how we know them niggas took the bad. Right, it tells you in Malachi, the third chapter, the last verse, that we will be able to discern who serves the Lord and who doesn't, man. Yep. And those niggas do not serve you. I'm trying to get their own belly. I'm trying to get their own belly. Yeah. 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 They ain't it for Lucas' right. sake, man. Yeah. They, they ain't it for Lucas' sake. They gaining something. They, they raping the people, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look at I I see a bunch of fat ass motherfuckers. <laughs> that is shit, so you know they robbing the congregation. Oh my god. Them niggas look like all they do is knock out a bullshit video and go to the bogus man. What we about to eat, brother? Where the barbecue at, brother? Yeah. yeah, they ain't about this truth, man. Wait, the 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 oh, okay, oh, yeah, okay. We, we, we know first half. We know first half, brother. Don't yeah. mention no names, but we know first half. They ain't good. What, what he said in the mafia movie, the people starve while you got fat. Yeah, man. That's the spirit, man. These motherfuckers getting fat. And other people are stuck. So I feel like we're skinny American motherfuckers, body. skeleton looking motherfuckers. Speaking, if you're not an Irish, you can't smoke your weed. Then what you doing there? Right. If you ain't committing adultery, what are you doing? Put your life. black boots on to be the soldier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, I order everybody to come to, right, everybody right, right, from right. Israel to come to the ISU. <laughs> Man, if you don't get your ass, who the fuck is you? It's General Dude. Yahida. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Isaiah 6. Gangbangers. Isaiah 6 and 10, make the heart be fat, make their ears heavy. Go back a little bit, we gotta get the whole story. He says, who shall I send? Right, because the Lord is always like, I'm like, man, I gotta deal with these people. Right, because we broke everything. Right, he said, remove me from my sight, which is the land of Israel. Cut them off, he said, I done put a cloud that their prayers can't even get to me. Right? We've been cut off like a motherfucker. Man, oh my God. Yeah. Even right now, the only thing preserving us is the promises and the things that the Lord wrote. It's not there. Six and eight. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord say, Who shall I sing? And who will go for us? Then he said, I, hear my, I, send me. And he said, Go and tell the people, Hear ye indeed, 
to understand not. So they hear what we're saying, but they do not understand. Right? How hard is it for you to not understand that America's going to be destroyed? America's Babylon the Great, that your chosen people you fell from your heritage, and now you're following after whatever your master or your slave owner gave you. How hard is it not to understand that, right? It's not too hard. Because you'll watch a movie and be like, man, that actor, boy. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, they I took see. him from his family, <laughs> and he had to go serve another people, man. You saw what they did to him? But he came back, and he got his power back. He became a king over his country. You can understand that in a fucking movie, but you can't understand that you're going through the same shit right now real in life. life. That's why the Lord life. blinded them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Lord's yeah. over all flesh. He said, I gave them eyes where they cannot see and ears where they cannot hear, man. So as much as we can say, hey, thus say the Lord, you are Israelite, guess what? The Lord ain't dealing with him. The Lord ain't dealing with him. It's like you just said, thus have the Lord. Man, the mother yeah. words to come. Man, the Lord to block this shit. Thus. Yeah. That's all you heard. That's all they heard. Yeah. Thus. Yeah. 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 Hey, but look. That's like. But I, but I see where a lot of Christians, uh, even people with my, my mama and shit like that, people that don't deal with the Lord like that. So when you get to talk, they get to talk about the Bible, right? Then you get to tell them, no, but the Lord said this in this scripture, right? So then you get on them, they get to act like a uh, like a demon on them, right? So this is what my mama do. She get to bring, she'll bring it up. So I get to whooping that ass with the scriptures. She get to doing this shit to the TV. And act like we ain't even talking. I I just say I, I just leave her alone. I, yeah, I say, okay, well leave me alone. Hey, 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 she bring it up on herself. And she knows the truth, you know what I'm saying? But the no, demon on the demon on that back so hard. Well, what would DMX say? Man, oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> don't know. No motherfucking thing. Right? Uh, the Bible oh, said the Bible said they don't know. Read that again. Right. He said, my people don't know. They do not consider a yep. sinful nation, a seed of evil, evil doers laden with a nickel. Go ahead. Hey. This is uh, Isaiah 9, uh, 16, uh, uh, 8, I'm sorry, 9, and he said, go and tell his people, hear ye indeed, understand not, see ye indeed, see not, make the heart of his people flat, make the ears heavy, and shut their eyes. So the angel made them even worse, the angel made them, made them even worse, go ahead. Eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and converse and be healed. See, that's that's called blood, man. The Lord, like, I don't want these motherfuckers. Right? Like, you want them, I don't want them. Give me that in Jeremiah. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew them. The Lord don't want them. The Lord ain't feeling these motherfuckers, man. The Lord ain't thinking about these motherfuckers. We gotta say Prophets of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Starting with the elect, the 144,000, all right, who are uh, with Yahweh Shai, creating all these things, man, who were uh, predestined for the foundation of the world to give salvation in these last days, man, all right, who are gathered today in these last days by the word, all right, you see, the Lord sent the prophets last, man. We're at the end of this kingdom, man. That's why you see us on the highways and byways down our lot. But we endure to the end and receive the promises. Go ahead, go ahead, brother. Proverbs 1 and 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, 
I will make known my words unto you. Be said, fools hate knowledge. That's what we're dealing with, man. Y'all was speaking about earlier, our own people, man. That's full of fools, man. That foolish in their own mind, their own wicked heart, man. You know? They, they, they reject knowledge, man. What's knowledge? The scriptures, man. And who are the ones that's bringing the scriptures? The prophets on the highways and byways, man. You're not going to get this in the churches, man. You know? You keyboard gangsters on there, man. Hey, you got to come out to the highways and byways and learn from the true prophets, man. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set and not on my counsel. Yeah, because this is not popular. This is not what the world wants to hear, right? Or see. This is not what's being promoted on television, right? This is not what's hip. This is not what's fucking cool. These lame ass Americans talk about hip and cool. Yeah. Now you a motherfucking dope fiend. How the fuck you know about hip, hip and cool, cool, man? You been fucking getting high all fucking year, man. How you know about hip and cool? You can't even keep a fucking job. You can't even pay your bills, man. How you know about hip and cool, man? You a fuck, man. Come on, you losing bad. How the fuck do you know about hip and cool, man? Why these people are such under a demonic yeah. mental state. Hey, they they thinking losing is cool. Yep. Hey, there's a rapper in Philadelphia called Skrilla, man. If you see the, oh, shit. he's a dope fiend. He's a, he's a profound dope fiend. He promotes dope. Right. Hey, you should see the people in his concerts. Dope heads. Dope you know, heads. Already know. You should see you know, how many views I mean? he gets. You know what I mean? These motherfuckers pass out an OB at these fucking concerts, man. Popping uh, mollies and all that shit, man. You just had man. that rapper who died. Yeah, uh, what the fuck his name is? Huh? Rich, rich, rich Homie Gone. Rich, yeah, Rich Homie Gone. Yeah, Rich Homie Gone. Yeah, he just OD off that shit. No, my baby, the baby mama, oh, uh, 911. He didn't come to the bed last night. I threw a cup on him. He foaming at the mouth. Uh, I don't feel no heartbeat or nothing. Hey, but he yeah. smoked that uh, drug use and all that yeah. bullshit, man. So guess what he died? And it's fucking overdose off some shit 9 times 10. I'm not too Man, 9 times 10, they probably poisoned his ass, man. That nigga been doing drugs for a long time. I don't think he fucked up like that. They poisoned his ass, man. They killing these drivers. They got insurance, big, big insurance money on these niggas, man. All them albums and shit that nigga made, man. He better off dead than the lives of these people, man. I'm telling you, read verse 25, but he have said at naught. All my councilmen with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh, the joke will be on y'all niggas, man. The Lord will laugh at you, man. Yeah, all right, y'all think it's funny now, but wait till the Lord has the last laugh, boy. It's, that's your ass, Mr. Post, man. You, you about to go through a hell that you ain't never seen with your own two eyes on TV. All that shit you seen on TV, you thought that was horrible, you thought that was so bad, that wasn't shit. Man, you can't imagine what the Lord about to do right now, man. It ain't never been done. Hey, that's what you, you get that uh, coming to a time that, that we right had. Oh, come, come. Matthew chapter 24, verse 21, and this is Yahweh Shai telling us. For there shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there, shall, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So, so, so bad, you gotta have divine intervention. Yeah. Yeah. That's where faith comes in. Right. The Lord yeah. said, when I come back, shall I find faith on the earth? He's gonna find it with the elect, man. And that's a gift. Not everyone has faith. Not all men have faith. Right, because even with faith, that Lord got to give you that, man. Yeah. You can't just get it. And it tell you also, it said, not to wisdom shall be the stability of thy time, man. Yeah, and if this Bible having that knowledge, wisdom, that Bible, man, that's what's gonna get us through. Well, that, that word stability in Isaiah 33 and 60 is actually on the one, which is faith. Your faith is gonna keep you stable in these times to come. Having this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, knowing the will of the, of the Lord, right? It says in Job that we're gonna laugh at famine and destruction, man. While others weep and be sorrowful, we're gonna have joy and abundance, man. We're gonna have merry and abundance. Be merry and abundant, man. Uh, Rob just made a video on that. You know, the brother running out made like a short, you know, basically saying that let go be straight. In the time of Jacob's trouble, man, because that's what the scripture says. Yeah. You're going to be in the midst of it, but the Lord is going to take care yeah. of us, man. Yeah. But the key thing you got to have faith, man. That's what a lot of these fucking people don't have is faith, man. It's such a separation, yeah. man. You know? Yeah, we have the hopeful luck, man. We have faith in these scriptures and things that never happen, man. Right. Because Esau's going to come down with great wrath upon us, man. The scriptures tell us that, man. You know? He's gonna pounce on us like the scriptures say, man. And how do we see that through this technology? 
This devil's bringing out more and more fucking robots and drones for who? For you Israelites, man. And who's the Elysian in the projects, man? He does, we are a uh, test ground for all this shit, man. When he saw one of the new drugs, we bring it to the nigga neighborhood. A new food to the nigga neighborhood, man. Yeah, man. You niggas need to wake the fuck up, man. But it's about to be too late, man. You know? Nigga trusting your weapons, stuff. You think we'll have them suit. Well, you can't even. Here's them with a damn knife the sword. They got they call them all exo suits and different yeah, things. They've yeah. been having them video games for the last 15, 20 years. We've been playing with them doing these things, man. We know what they got out. These drones they got out now. People are some people are just now seeing this. I've been playing with my video games for years, man. You know what I'm saying? This shit been out, man. Yeah, Lord gave them all that. Yeah, yeah. You know why? Because Lord making it where you have no choice but to trust them. Trust in the Lord, huh? He's gonna get his glory, he gotta get his glory at the end of all. Ain't hey, nobody saying he can live with himself. Man, no. <laughs> and he saw, he has technology that he hasn't shown the whole world yet, uh -huh. man. You know, just imagine thousands and thousands of uh, Terminators, man. Right. All right, that they control from a little uh, space in a bunker, you know what I mean? They, they, they definitely show you it in a TV show yeah. what they got. So let's go back to what you said, man. We definitely need Find and convince you this time coming up, man. Well, the Lord's going to renew our strength, you know? So not only do we have faith, but we have to have works with it. That's a combination, man, to show our faith by these works. The Lord's going to renew our strength in that time to come. So that we're indestructible, man. All right? I got a scripture right here. Uh, this is uh, this is, uh, Psalm 44 and 5. Through thee, who we push down our enemy, through who? The Lord. Right. That's who that's talking about. Through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. I will not trust in my bull bow, neither shall my sword save me. What's my day sword of gun? Yeah. All right? Yes. So it says, uh, but thou hast saved us from our enemies and has put them to shame that hate us. So the Lord is gonna be the one to do it. Yeah, he's the one that teaches our fingers to war, man. Psalms 144. He's gonna give us that power. All right, and the Lord's going to be glorified. All right, his name's going to be magnified. Yeah. And you're going to know it was Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that did it. Yeah, you tell you, group four says, uh, how the Lord said, I put you in, pretty much, he said, I put you in this situation. I'm on the way oh. to get you out of it. Yeah, verse 18. Yeah. I got you. This is Baruch chapter 4, verse 18. For he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. That's it, man. The Lord's yeah. going to do it. Hell you can't yeah. deliver yourself, man. The Lord's going to be the one that delivers. It says we're just a, a, a worm. A yeah. worm doesn't have arms, legs. Huh. It's defenseless. Mm -hmm. right, it can't move fast. All right? No. The Lord is with us, man. The Lord's going to defend us. He said, I'll always be with you even unto the end, man. Yahweh Shai is with us. He's not going to let, let us be alone. The right, thing is, you got to believe that. You're yeah, yeah and that's why it's important hey. to know and understand Yahweh Shai. Hey, all hey, right? Do not waste down. this grace period fucking around, all right? But be an Israelite daily, okay? Studying. So I come give a, t a, a attendance to reading, exhortation, right? And, and there's more to it. I'm like, no, that, you know, oh no, yeah, because yeah, you just to know, back the brother oh. up, because I, I had to put up this picture. That's police getting beat up, and the citizens are helping the police, <laughs> right? So you are, man, Come who, on, get who, up, who get up. You go for help when all hell break loose. Police. The police show the brothers the picture. You got the American citizens helping the police now. The police looking for Americans <laughs> to help out. They done knocked the whole head oh, off her yeah. body and now look at her. Yeah, that's the times we living in. So, yeah, man, stop. <laughs> you ain't got no help coming up unless it's from above. That's it, man. And like, yeah. like the brother said, man, that will give you confidence right there, knowing that you gave it your all. If you know if you've been bullshitting around, you know if you're bullshitting around or right. not. Yeah. If you've been bullshitting, of course you got you got a lot to fear man, about. Yeah, oh, yeah. Come on, man. Now you're unsure of it. Instead yeah. of being confident. Confidence means with faith, you know? Are you fully persuaded? Do you know these words are faithful and true? Do you really believe that? We'll start moving like it, man. Right. All right, because we're at the end. Yeah, man. It's no time to be a bullshit artist. Done. Well, if that's what you want to be, stay your ass across the street, man. And the Lord got you in the trick bag. Go over there and trick some other motherfuckers. Leave us alone. We only gathering in the elect. That's all man, you want. Go show you how dumb they are, man. You don't think the Lord can, don't see your ass, man? Come on, man. You worry hey. about what man think? Hey, look, they think the Lord is asleep, man. The Lord ain't done nothing all this time, man. Look, I'll do my own thing. Hey, Lord gave us free will. We got free will, dog. We can do what we want. Yeah, yeah. Man, these niggas retarded, man. This hey, like a boss guitar said, we see your weak ass. No, thank you. Know you hey. The Lord definitely sees your no, ass, man. Oh, man, come on. Shit.
shit crazy. But this is, look, this, this is to uh, exhort and, and, and you know, uh, uplift the elect. This is 2 Maccabees chapter 15, verse 8. Wherefore he exhorted his people not to fear the coming of the heathen against them. So we ain't supposed to fear the, hey, the shit that these people finna come here. All the stuff we just named, the drones and all the, the army shit they got coming. Man, look, we ain't got to fear that, man. The Lord on our side. The Lord is gonna protect us from this devil, man. It's Nahum chapter 1 and verse 7. Yahweh mm. is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. The Lord is good in the day of trouble, man, those who trust in him. Hey. That's it, that's how long as we hey. trust hey. and believe hey. and have that faith. Man, look, the Lord gonna do hey, what, hey, whatever we need to be done. This Psalm 118 to 6, the Lord is on my side. I would not feel what what can man do unto me? Right. The Lord take in my part with them that help me. Therefore, I should see that my desire upon them that hate me. It's better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in me. Yeah. It's better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All right? Yeah. They say all nations can pass me about, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Right. And like you just said, right? It's confidence in dealing with the Lord, but when you put your trust in your so-called Yo, your princes and your kings, which are your presidents, what happened? What happened? What have they done? Has anything gotten better? Have they ever kept any so-called promises? No. Everything has got worse because you're dealing with your enemy and you're putting your enemy over you. What did the Lord say about that? You're not supposed to put your enemy over you, man. Why would you trust your enemy? Come on. This man did every fucking, uh, up to most the worst shit that you could ever do to anybody in the world to you. And you turn around and you trust him. You turn around, you lay with this man. You have sex with this man. You have kids by these people. They love him. They you feel him? Him. They trust in oppression. They're going to bow down and take the badge of the, the, the anti-Messiah, right? which is that MOTB. They might go see it. It's Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 17. No, no, 7. 17 and 7. Yeah. Blessed is the man that trusteth in Yahweh and whose hope Yahweh is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spreadeth out her roots by the river and shall not see when he cometh, but her leaves shall be green and shall not be careful. In the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Right, you're gonna know who the Lord's chosen are, man. They're gonna trust sure. in Yahweh by Shemel Shai. All right, it's gonna look like there's no other way out. Just like when we were led, all right, uh, with Moses out of Egypt to the Red Sea, we're, it, was, it was like we're at a dead end. So the Lord split the water and, and had us walk on dry land, all right? And took us through that and drowned our enemies, the, the Egyptians, man. And like in and like in, in, in these times, man, the Lord's going to do miraculous works, you see? That is going to outshine the salvation of Egypt, man. This is going to be greater than then. But this is back in second back of these 15 and 8, wherefore he exhorted his people not to fear the coming of the heathen against him, because he saw us coming with that great wrath. Alright? Uh, Revelation 12 and 12. But to remember the help which in former times they had received from heaven, and now to expect the victory and aid which should come unto them from the Almighty, man. So this is the hope we have. Hope goes into expectation. The Lord is going to deliver us, man, because he said so. All right, it's going to be a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. All right, the, the, the Israel be like the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be returned. All right, shall return. You guys, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, please. Because if you keep reading down this Proverbs 1, yeah. all right, it tells yeah. you the punishment for the wicked, but in the final verse. The last 33? Yep, yeah, read that, man. I got that out earlier. Let's go. Proverbs 1 and 27, when your fear cometh as a desolation, and your whirlwind as a destruction comes, dis and your destruction coming as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon you. But I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. So when, when niggas' lives get hard, that's when they gonna want to call on you. How about Shemel Shai? Even these wicked ass fucking Israelites like that know the name of you. How about Shemel Shai? The Lord will not receive him, man. Yeah, it's right? called Israelite as a damn good. It's gonna take a two walk together lest they be agreed, man. Dude. These niggas serve a rock god, man. <laughs> All right, these niggas serve a rock. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, y'all believe me. See, y'all want to go kiss the rock. Like, yeah. <laughs> right, these niggas, these niggas, man, I, and I grew up in that shit, man. These niggas walk around a rock 
And they, they, yeah. then they start running around, man. Then they start to trample each other. Well, if you fall down, you're done. Oh, you're so if you fall right. down, they're going to trample your ass. Yeah. Where's your God to help you up? That's Where's right. your God to save you from death? This shit is fine. Yeah. 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 Then, 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 you know, when, when you read them to the pearls, they get into heaven. Oh, yeah, yeah. Up. It goes, you want to break it down? No, you got to break it down. It goes into right. little boys uh. for pleasure. Yeah, oh, that's wow. Great. Little yeah, boys yeah. for pleasure. Yep. So that's homosexuality. The Lord's not dealing with that shit, man. Yeah, yeah. They talk about you is like, that's bad. That's confusion in itself. Yeah. No. That's the new niggas. Yeah. Jake is all oh, lost, man. What Jake say he lost. what in the what? Muslim yeah. and that's who I'm talking about. They what the say. fuck is that? Oh, shit. That's what they said? No, well, Nate, IUIC banned it with the Nation of Islam. To, to fight black uh, crime in the community, or community no, no, black yeah, hard, crime shit. in the black community. Oh, he's he's slow. Bad, he saw Ben infiltrated the NOI, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. And, and, and and IUIC is, uh, is a 5013, and yeah. they're categorized under uh, Islam. Oh so, yeah, so they, yeah, there's red flags everywhere. You right. see? Yeah, so yeah, they get they can't bite the hand to feed them. They right. do everything. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. Or, so they know kind of better. He might get sued or something. Yeah. You know? Or take his uh, his money uh, his, his ministry away. away. They look, his paychecks. That worth that seems like a hundred million in 2022. Wow. Damn, 150 million. And they got a plane and all that shit. So. Oh boy, boy they doing. Big no, That's why they don't go out on the highways and byways unless it's uh, walking and talking like they're protesting. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and that's the only time you really see them come out now when they protest and shit for some wicked ass nigga. But then that's you see the there's a bunch of followers, you know, uh, leading them on to a ditch. You know, the, let the blind look. Blind, blind, right. blind, yeah. Blind. You know, all their, they have so many members, but not all of them are, are bringing out edification. They're not warning the flock. They're just, you know, in shiny suits and shit, you know what I mean? Garments. You know, they just want to appeal to the masses, man. They're carnal. You know? The boy ain't doing it this time. No. You must worship the Father in spirit and in truth, man. Is that right, Gilder? That's right, yes. Uh, yeah, I'm coming forward. Yeah, yeah. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They were none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore, shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. Oh, yeah, Lord, go take out your own devices. Know what you fear the most, you know, you have to deal with that. <laughs> you know what they, he also, in fact, you also want, you also know what they enjoy the most. Yeah. And he's gonna use that against them. Yep. These bitches like, these bitches like trains ran on them. And like the elder Malcolm say, the cock carousel gonna ride you, man. Oui. This time you ain't gonna man. have no choice. You're gonna be like that, uh, that, 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 that woman that broke bad from her husband in the scripture. Yeah, that, that's what's gonna fuck up. That's gonna fuck the woman up. They don't have a choice. They yeah. do all that shit, but they mad. I, I'm cho I chose to deal with this. Mm -hmm. Well, you ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be your choice that day. Hey, look, bitch, it's slow. I, I had a woman, I was we were talking about this shit, right? And I was telling about how this shit was gonna happen. She said, what the fuck they gonna do? Fuck me to death? I'm telling you, bitch, you just don't know. And look, that might be your judge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bitch, that might be your judge. They're gonna break in your door. Guess what? Them niggas gonna run a motherfucking train on you so ugly, yeah, boy. Diego time. Oh, yeah. Diego time. Yeah, you can't get fucked up. Oh, enough. come on, man. Literally. Yes, sir. But they don't understand. Boy, this ain't no game. They think it's a joke. Oh, it's nothing. It's just what they got to do. But that's in the script, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That happened. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they wore her out, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's not just in the scripture. It was some fucking woman that had sex with so many men. Joe, they had to, they, her shit was fucked up and she had to have surgery on her shit, man. And like the brother was saying, because now you got control shit, but he wouldn't take 10, 20 men at one time. Mm -hmm. But she might pause, have a drink yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. This no, ain't no man. pause to have yeah, no drink. Yeah. 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 Rest time for no, a second. No, so no. Ain't be no rest no, time. Hell no, hell hey. no. All three no damn hoes. No damn hoes. I'm gonna have a spirit on these fucking bitches in that day. Boy, look, boy, hey, look, Dick, hey, look, uh, hey, look, <laughs> Dick won't get, uh, hey, Dick won't get soft for nothing. You feel me? Bitchmen don't get tired. No. Come on, boy. Oh, hey, oh my God. They yeah. jumping off. Man, they jump out of the They jump out of 20 feet off a damn building. <laughs> Just point there. Just point there. Woo! Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see the bitch in my, he drunk, he trying to jump into the pussy. But he missed the pussy and knocked himself out. Damn. Uh, uh, Another nigga jumped into the pussy. They ain't even moved his body. Oh, just my God. Knocked out the ground. Damn. The man was asleep. Another nigga jumped off the wow. ladder into the pussy. Like, fuck uh. Hey, Judges 19, them sons of Bilal are here, man. All right? Them, them mighty sodomites, man. Them niggas are back. They never left. They yeah, never, no, they never they left. They're going to get unleashed. Man. Man, that don't mean you people judge me. It's this. It's this. You okay with the shit? Yeah, that was a joke. Right. Yep, I'm gonna continue to read. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, 
and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet for fear of evil. That's the leg. Yep, and let's get that word for quiet. We go to the Hebrew word, Sha'ad. It says to be at ease, to be at peace, rest securely, and be quiet. And so the elect will be taken care of. All right, it's going to say famine, death, destruction, sword, all these are for the wicked. Greater for the wicked, man. All right, if, the, if it's not for the righteous, then the righteous won't get touched, man. Psalm 91, 10,000 have fallen on one side, 1,000 have fallen at that side, 10,000 at that right hand. Yeah. This shall not come nigh deep. Well, you know, I tell you, uh, talking about Jacob Trouble, it says he should be saved out of who? The elect. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Right, this is the back you up. Uh, Psalms 125, chapter, um, chapter 125, verse 3, For the rod of the wicked shall not rust upon the law of the righteous, at least the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. You see? So we, we can't turn back, man. All right? We have to offend less and do better every day. Abound this word and the work of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Changing ourselves in the, into the image of Yahweh Shai. You see? Because all this uh, destruction, this famine, all right, these plagues, hey, that's coming for the wicked of our people. That's right. That's, that's why the flood came. You know, what you thought was to rock 40. All right, and, and those plagues are coming back for the, for the wicked. And now it's going to be fire. Because the Lord's going to put everybody through that test, that hour of temptation. And two-thirds are going to fold and take that micro seed in their, their hand or their head yeah. and get burned up, man, for that. Yeah, because you know? yeah, the Lord made a covenant. That's where the rain will come from. We are not gonna destroy the earth with flooding. Right. So not this time we'll be fire. Yep. Like the second stuff. death. And there'll be some here that will not taste it, man. The right. water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see? That's why we must abide in the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and continue in doing what we're doing, man. Okay. You see? The Lord's gonna keep us, man. He's gonna deliver us and preserve us. He's gonna pass over us when he brings that fiery judgment. Yeah, man, that, that's that's the problem the Lord made. He ain't Lord, not like he saw. That right. that say some shit and then renege. Well, he saw the father of lies. You know, the Lord's not a man that should lie. See, these like again, I said earlier, these words are, are faithful and true, man. All right, that, that's why we're so comforted by by these words, because the Lord got us, man, and He's showing us in this walk, all right, in this ministry. He, he puts us through trials and all, but he'll, he'll always overcome them. All right, because the Lord is the one that pulls us out of them. Stockholm Syndrome, you know, they, they love their oppressor, man. They trust right. in them. They want to be like Well, well guess what? Good. Yeah. Makes our chance to stay right. We'll buy you a fuck about these two thirds. Right. That's going to be the death thing. Yeah. <laughs> Don't join hand in hand with the wiki, you're going to die. They shall surely go. You got pre sale? I got Bring it up. <laughs> this is Rock 30 and 9. It says, Death and bloodshed. Strife and sword, calamity, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. For their sakes will come the second death, man. These, they, they, these people, these places are created for them. Hey, look at the shit that these niggas are doing, man. The prophets are out telling you people to get right, telling you what not to do and what to do to get the salvation. What? It's good to say the simple pass out and not punish. Hey man, that's true. Yeah, people, yeah, man. He, no, it's a weirdo. Over your mind to the truth. You see how bugged out and backwards these people are, man. They true, man. They're a bunch of beasts, you know. And the scripture says we were beasts before, you know, because we didn't, we didn't uh, keep these laws and these commandments, man. They're a bunch of animals over here, man. Brute beasts. Right? Yeah, brute beasts. They didn't even destroy it. If you look at these guys, these niggas tell their stories of what the fuck going on. It's, if you don't have a lot of such commandments in the forefront to the script to say wisdom is the principal thing, it says therefore get wisdom with all that getting and get understanding. So if you don't have that wisdom as your principal base, nigga, you would do anything. 
you have sex with your mom. This nigga's out here clapping at mama. What? Where there's no yeah. love, where there's yeah. no love, yeah. there's no pain. Yeah, yeah. 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 for me. <laughs> hey, Jake, no more. Mama tell me I love you. He comes off the time and he makes me feel good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no more. He no standards. Yeah, that woman was giving a breakdown of how she had a man and then she had a person with his mama and him. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Wow. It say that it say that deeds surpass the deeds that are wicked. Yeah. So some shit that you you'll be like, oh no, that was an eater, my dog. Nah, and this time, them, them, these are niggas doing that, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck if they look like Edomite. These niggas be Jake. Well, yeah. you know what it said, uh, the way of the wicked seduce them. Man. They'd be like, nah, man. That's yeah, strips say the way of the wicked, the way of the wicked seduce them, man. I got that well, niggas, they follow like that. Uh -huh. They got that script that you quoted. It's uh, Jeremiah 5 and 28. Uh, they are like, yeah, oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate you, sir. Uh, uh, Jeremiah 5 and 28. They are waxed the fat, they shine, yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper in the right of the needy do they not judge. Yeah, man, they overpass the deeds of the wicked, man. They find some way to to make Esau be like, damn, how come I didn't think of that shit? Yeah, that was Jesus Christ right there. Good shit, nigga. Now let's pat nigga. Put it out there. Right. You know what I'm saying? How the hell did the devil himself take a note? Have a question. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 That's fucked up. <laughs> you know, hit that erase on him. Like, oh, damn. Hold on. It's just good to do evil, boy. To be righteous, they don't have no clue. They don't know. They don't have no clue of how the follower of be righteous or how about shit man. The only thing they can tell you is about is Satan this, Satan that, Jesus that, Jesus this, Allah this, Buddha this. Other than that, they don't know the Lord Yahweh by Shiva Hey, that's why they had they set up a certain Jake to be gate, uh, what do they call them? Gatekeepers? Gatekeepers. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? They set them up. It's like this nigga know how to do some shit. Yeah. I'm gonna just pay you to do this shit. You keep doing that. Keep doing it. Keep being my bitch. That's the yeah. really my bitch. Like niggas yeah. are. I'm gonna pay you to be they, my bitch. Yeah, it's like it's like Esau's the pimp, and uh, uh, they got the gatekeepers as the head bitch. Man. Yep. Going back to my last bottom home. Bottom, bottom bitch. Bottom bitch. Yeah. Bottom bitch. Yeah. How you have the Esau bottom have bitch. be the elite, and the Boulay be they bitches. Yeah. Doing uh, doing the, the bit of the elite for the niggas. Yeah. It's Zechariah chapter 11 and verse five. Possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be a howl, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. And then who possesses them? He saw he was up with a white man. And he set up these uh, false leaders of our people, these rappers and entertainers, basketball players, to right. keep to lead Jake away from the Lord. They're not telling the people, uh, telling our people who they are. Who are they teaching people, man? No. They scattered him. Throw the records in there too, man. They, they leave I'm them. I'm thinking of house army. I'll have sharp tongue and uh, yeah. the other ones, man, you know, our people love to go see, man. And, and, and swearing they're going to get saved by giving them more, more money. More money. Just give up with money. More, more money. More, more money. And it came out. I think an Al Sharpton was a uh, uh, foreman. A uh, federal foreman, man. Why? And he was back there with fucking Martin Luther King and all the other sellouts back then. Or what? Keep you Jakes in darkness, pushing that black, yeah. bullshit. black community bullshit. We're not black people. We're there for like this. But you know what? No matter what Esau do, what these niggas do, you ain't gonna stop the electric. No. Right up. Yeah. So see, Lord like that. Lord like you can have two third niggas, man. Well, he got his electric. Yeah, yeah, I heard some thousands that would not bother the needs of all. all. Right? Like, again, hey, the electric's not here for more, man. Alright, he got the effect. This shit just had, all this has to play out, man, because it's prophecy. It's the Lord's word. He's not going to go back to the voice. Oh, Tim, right here. What's up? Oh, yeah, it's broken. Yeah, what do you say? Yeah, this Romans 11 and 7. What did Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for? But the election have obtained it and the rest were blind. So he has to win the will of the Lord. This Romans 11 and 4, it says, But what said the answer of the Most High unto him? The wicked I have, witch of the West. 
That's the witch on Snow White, Joe. That's a lot. You crazy. 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 7,000 men. That is seven, 7,000 just means completion. Complete number of men. It ain't actually 7,000. It just means a complete number. It says, who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. The Lord has his elect. It says in uh, Job the 22nd chapter, the Lord says he's going to deliver the island of the innocent. That island is a small land, man, surrounded by a uh, big ass sea, man. So the Lord, he has his little sanctuary. See, all these other people, they smoke. The scripture say the Lord said that he, uh, uh, the right, uh, uh, the wicked is giving us a ransom for the righteous. So these niggas, the, the scripture say, they feel for that fire, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the Lord's movie, man. And we'll always bring like the GI Joe, like oh, this one's a bad guy, this one's good. The Lord's doing the same thing, man. He's right. picking and choosing who was oh. his and who's not. All these niggas look like skeletons. Uh huh. This <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. Lord's yeah, but see what the Lord do is the property people. Yeah, yeah. right. But they be doing this shit all day, man. Yep. Same thing, damn thing, man. But I know why, cause you're a part of the drama. That's why. That's, That's right. why it's a problem. Yep. They mandate NPCs and shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm an NPC. Why right. can't I be? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you watch, you watch, you watch, you watch a movie. You got the drama, right. some suspense and all that. That's a good movie. Not a, not a problem, drama, not a problem. Right, that's Oh, it. no, I don't like this one, man. movie sucks, man. Right. Because I'm involved in this shit. Yeah. Yeah. background here. Yeah. <laughs> Some bullshit, man. Extras. Extras. Nobody's got to get in when you fit in, nigga. Right. This room is 11 and 7 now. It says, what then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Well, that's all it is, so we... So why get mad when a nigga don't get it? Because the Lord didn't want him, don't want him to get it. And tell you, Isaiah 6 and 9 said, you get angels watching the nigga not to get it. You know? Yeah, let their table be a snare. You hear the same people that wanted to wrap this over your house shy. Alright. It's going to be about us and our children. So that's what you're going to get. That's it. Lord, Lord, leave and get with you what you want. Oh yeah, I and mean, he makes it rain on the just and the unjust. See? I got the uh, Lord like, oh yeah, he has his left habit, but guess what? He might deal with the consequences that come with it. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why, hey, those that, that, that make it, the elect, yeah. hey, they're, they're gonna know there's nothing better than to fear the Lord, nothing sweeter than taking the commandments of the Holobosh and That's right! See? This uh, Romans 11 and 8. As, according as it is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear. That's what Jake wanted. They didn't want, they didn't want to serve the Lord. Yep. Oh, Lord, like, okay, cool. All right. They don't love the Lord. They say ignorance is bliss. They say it's, it's better to, to not know and this, that, and third. We tell a nigga the truth. The first thing you want to say, what they got to do with me? Why, why I want to know that? <laughs> Okay. Oh, my God. I want to know that the Lord would destroy my kingdom. Stupid ass nigga. Yeah, good. Yeah, pretty much. Y'all ain't living because in our world, man. The right. America world, man. I love it. It's the land of the free, man. You can do what the fuck you want to do, man. That, that's the whole point, man. <laughs> the Lord too strict for them. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, look. Yeah, they, they call it allow them to do whatever the hell they want to do. Add sin to sin to add sin to sin, man. That's why he's all going to pay with these niggas. And what the Christians going to say? How we gonna be able to keep all those laws? That's too many laws, we can't do that. And that's why we not under, we can't do that. And that's why you fucked up, that's why the Lord don't kill you, man. Because right, yeah. you can do what you can do, right? Because, hey, look, even though we ain't in our land, we can't keep them off, guess what? Hey, look, we gotta rehearse, we gotta yep. study and, and build up on that and follow that, man. Because yeah. that's the only way the Lord gonna deal with us in, in the time that we coming in, man. If we not focusing and paying attention and listening to Yahweh Bashi Bawasha, Hey, we fuck. You screwed. Yeah, man, yeah, Lord, Lord wants to see who's going to put forth their foot. No, right. yeah. Who's going to put their best foot forward, man? Because we sin every day. We can't, we sure. can't uh, keep this perfectly, but we try through faith to right. the best of our ability, and the Lord sees that. This is the third book of John, chapter 1, verse 4. I have no greater joy 
them to hear that my children walk in truth and how has that blueprint. That's right. That's who we hey. uh, emulate after. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Is Following he? his righteous habits. All right, and examples that are written in these scriptures. Yep. See? And a lot of Christians say, well, how can we do that? Hey, our Lord and Savior came here as a man. Hey, wait, what, wasn't he perfect? Then he walked and did what he's supposed to be doing. Why you can't do it? Hey, you tell me. It's, it's just all excuses. Yeah. But yeah. not what it's about. Scripture says, Simple man will be approved of that. That's good. Yeah, yeah. It's grievous to them. Grievous to them. The Lord and his word and being righteous is grievous to these two thirds, man. They yeah. can't stand it, man. You hear me? They'll yeah. kill you. They, they literally want to kill you and shit because you speaking Yahweh Shema Rashad, not Jesus. Well, they stole the prophets in the past. They're going to come yeah. up against us now. Yep. They're the same thing as they're striving against yeah. the priests. Man. They did it in the past and they're going to do it again. All right? But the Lord's going to defend us. This ain't seven days deep. Man, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We're going to rise up, man, when the Lord gives us that power, that green light. Like the Apostle Tahar said, yeah. hey, we're going to be jumping over Edomites to get you two thirds. Hey, you know what? Because this is the time. They already doing it. By scoffing. Yeah. That's, that's, that's well, well, they got to fulfill their mission, knowing the last days they'll be stoppers. They come, you know? The reason why we say that, because that's going to be the only time that we're going to be able to fuck you niggas up. We can't fuck you up in the kingdom of heaven, so we got to get your ass now. You know what I'm saying? We're going to take your ass out now. Romans 11 and 8. According as it is written, the most I have given them the spirit of slumber. And part of their spirit, they don't want to let go with the spirit. So when they come up and hear this word, there's something that they won't stop doing. Then they all know, fuck this. Right, right. They want, that's part of the spirit right there. Now they want to throw the whole thing out the window. Yeah. <laughs> I can't afford it. Right. They afford it. I can't eat lots of crabs yeah. and shrimp. Yeah. It's going to change. And that's the thing that Willow Boots is saying. The Lord did with the food. Yeah, man, we can't eat the food, man. Fuck that, man. I said, if I'm going to eat some goddamn pork, I'm going to eat some goddamn pork. I said, man, look, that's why the Lord going to kill you niggas, man. Because y'all ain't got no faith. Y'all don't believe in shit. Y'all don't believe And this is dietary law for a fucking reason, man. It's a reason. So your ass won't get sick. So you won't be filthy and fucked up like the rest of you. You won't have to go see this fucking white man for some goddamn drugs. You feel me? That's why it's in play, man. It's for your life, for you to live. Not for you to fucking suffer and die. That's Esau way, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, that he looked just like that shit. But <laughs> it, it might have been him. You know, that nigga old as fuck, right? Fuck around, man. Oh, yeah, you said dietary laws. And not only that, did it keep us in water? Nigga, if you eat, you first of all, a pig, that shit is not food. Come on, man. That's you can't bullshit. say that's fucking food. That's not fucking food. And the Lord's purpose look. for that is for him to be a bottom feed of the earth. Yeah, that's what, and, 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 and anytime a man had a pig on the farm, it was to eat the bullshit that they, and, you know, the other animals weren't going to eat. He didn't want to clean up, and that the pig fucking ate any goddamn thing. Just to back you up, because it's the same thing for, let's say, a cockroach. Nigga won't eat a cockroach. <laughs> Nigga's going to eat a shrimp. Come on, not man. A, not a 450 million shrimp a year, and now the bottom of the sea is even dirtier. It's, and, and exactly. It's more dirty. That's why your fucking water that color. Because they take all the animals out of the fucking water that's supposed to clean the water, man. And they feed them to your ass, man. That's why they're saying that you are what you fucking eat, man. Man, you need to slow. It says, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear until this day. And David said, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block, and a wrecking pincer to them. That's why niggas be inside this, all these other bullshit ass philosophies yep. and shit. Be looking up, oh, what's the way? They can't get it. Because the Lord has them blocked, man. These niggas are wicked, man. A nigga, a rather fucking eat a pork chop than eat a fucking piece of chicken. A nigga, and then the thing is, you got all these different lots of meats and foods that you can eat that taste way better than any of the other shit. Like this one nigga, um, she, she, I don't know why the fuck she started talking to me. Oh, the one, she, I'm inside the produce section, get my shit. She, yeah, man, I'm finna, I'm finna make some salmon, I'm finna put some asparagus. I'm finna, that sound good. And then, I wrap the salmon and bacon. Oh. I said, what the fuck is you doing? 
Oh, oh my now, God. Now, why the fuck did you wrap in salmon? Then yeah, I wrapped the salmon in the bacon and put it. I got the strip on the side with the potato up there. Oh, shrimp on the side. Oh, God damn. But they, oh. I'm like, damn, oh. you done fucked the whole meal up. <laughs> Stay away from me. I cut in your house, be bad to the motherfuckers. Bitch, you said you was cooking salmon. Not salmon and bacon. See, I said I was cooking my special salmon. Hey, but that's Esau, man. Hey, Esau put bacon in. Hey, look, when you put bacon on ice cream and candy, come on, man. Hey, this man wicked as hell. Wicked as fuck, man. This don't make no sense. Who the fuck make pork ice cream, man? Job 12 and 16 was him and strength and wisdom that the seed and the deceiver are hid. So if you help us, you know, open the spirit up. All right, who has that angel open your spirit up to receive the truth? There's also that same angel serving the Lord that blinds these people and that blocks them from receiving the truth. Yeah. Anything, they use anything as their stumbling block. Yeah. All right? I have three stuff in the Matthew 13 and 9. Who has ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries. So I show you, Lord, a way right. by to get it, man. No. You get it parables. So it must select them up, man, to get it. Right. Right. What the Lord said. I give my secrets. This book is it's a secret. You can't go to the church and get this. You can't stay reading and think you're going to get it. The Lord said it's a secret. I give my secrets unto my servants, the prophets. That's the only reason why we out here and be able to talk to you and, and do what we do. He's given us the secrets, man. Because we went to we went to church. We was Christians. We was uh, Muslims. We was all that. We didn't know what the fuck was going on until the Lord pulled us out of there. He gave us the secrets, man. We put in the work. He gave us, he woke us up at the time he wanted to be woken. And this is Sirach 27 and 9. The birds will resort unto their life. So will truth return to them that practice in her. Yeah, so we, yeah, we knew this before, and the Lord returned it back unto them. Well, yes, the right. spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets. Yeah. We're back in our lives, you see. And Lord willing, again, I'll say it, we endure to the end. Yeah. All right? Right. It says, Matthew 13 and 11, he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. He was given unto what? It says, it is given unto you. He was given unto you. You is meaning what? The prophets, man. The 144, the elect. It was given unto them. To know the secrets of this book, man. Not everybody else in the world, man. Not your pastors and your priests and all these so-called uh, uh, religions that y'all deal with, man. The Lord ain't dealing with them, man. He's dealing with these men that you see out here on the highways and byways. Because it was a time they weren't out here. You didn't see this. Now you should know that the Lord, hey, he's coming back. Why? Because you see the men of the Lord out here now. You see the prophets out here prophesying. They tell you everything that you see on the TV. They're breaking everything down for you. If you need a teacher, if you want to go see and learn what's going on, hey, look at the prophets. The prophets, man, hey, look, I'm GMS. Yes, we got the truth, the 100% truth, man. Nothing but the truth. That's all we going to tell you. That's it, that's all. Second Thessalonians 2. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 9, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. He saw him in the serpent playing white man. His coming is after the working of Satan. It says, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. So they, these niggas are going to perish. The Lord didn't get them to uh, understand. These niggas have been wicked since the beginning. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They come back and they lie to every time, man. That's right. Like, like whoever brought you with Brother Red, you know, Brother Zorro, Zor Zor they like, you know, so they coming back and they lie too. Yeah. yeah. The scriptures tell us that let the righteous be righteous and the wicked be yeah. wicked still, man. Yeah. The wicked don't be wicked from the past. They come, they here today. The righteous that was from the past, they here today, man. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. One more verse. It says that for this cause the Mosai should send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, 
that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. These people have pleasure in unrighteousness, man. These niggas love doing some wickedness. Yeah, they yeah. said they call these great plays peace, man. You man. And Lord know that about them. That's why he now he not will never open their mind to First Corinthians 14 and 32. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Alright, so the prophets are back in their lot today. Alright, and on the balance of that, the wicked are back in their lot today as well. Alright? So only the prophets will, uh, will gain, get this word and go out and teach. And the wicked will not receive this word, man. They'll continue to rebel. Alright? So that's their lot, just like it's our lot to come here and teach, man. This uh, second Corinthians 4 and 3, it says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. We go to where lost, it goes to perishing, man. These niggas can't get us because the Lord has them slated to be destroyed. These niggas, hey, as we read in the other scripts, they have pleasant and righteousness. These niggas love doing some wickedness. They interviewed this young nigga. He was like, no, no bullshit, no more than 13 years old. Man. And Oak Block, right? They asked him, hey man, what, what would you, if you could change anything in Old Black, what would you do? He looked at him like, this is his real life. He said, that's right. Y'all no, Israelites, right? Yeah. Nigga, he was like, I'm a, uh, it's a he was like, uh, it's a uh, uh, yeah, uh, I know, I know who I, I am. I wouldn't change shit. Right. Yeah, that's the nigga hey, said, hey. he wouldn't change shit. Yeah. We got, we got, hey, but now, but now, now that you know, you gotta apply it, bro. Yeah. yeah. I, I, tell, I try to tell everybody who, you know, who don't, don't know who we are. Yeah, study, bro. Yeah, yeah study. My dad's Israelite too. Yeah, I know you are. Uh, I said, wait, who are you? Who are you? Who you follow? Who you follow? Uh, who is it? I see. I see. Oh, you or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah. What's the name of the Lord? Uh, Yahweh. 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 Yeah, how was Yeah, how was Yeah, that's what it is. He delivered. He said, yeah. you gotta call them those names. IUIC. They don't tell you the name of the Lord. Uh, what, they don't. what does IUIC stand for? Uh, I don't really know. Oh, shit. It's like united in Christ. Christ is not a Hebrew. Right. right. So how are they flowing the Hebrew Christ? They're still calling them three names. Right. That don't make no sense. And you can't, you can't, hey, when you, hey, when you follow things, you gotta look up stuff, man. How do you not know who you follow? You yeah. got to really go into the. Like, my, you see? my dad tells me, so I just. Hey, okay, hey, but yeah, still, I, you know, it's like your me, job right. to look up things. Yeah. It ain't your father's job. He can tell you stuff, give you information, but guess right. what? It's your job to go look up the information he got you and see if it's right. right or wrong. Do you know what the Mark of the Beast is? Yeah. What is it? That's like the new uh, order. Well, what is it? What is the yeah. physical thing? What is the physical mark? It's like the uh, like the chips and stuff. Or the, it's the RFID microchip. Yeah. That's the that's the mark of the beast. Now, they said it might be a tattoo. No, it's not a tattoo. It's something that's gonna be physically right. implanted. Right. It's not right. 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 You won't be able to buy or sell without it. Yep. My, dad, my dad is Judah. He's from the tribe of Judah. Okay. That's my stepdad. Really. What's your yeah. real? What's your real father? He might, he's, it's a cartoon, but you I don't really know right. what he just said. Right. Yeah. Hey, uh, you got notes? Yeah, can I put it? Yeah. yeah. I had a uh, Hey, the time is short, man. Repent. Yeah, time is short. The kingdom of heaven is ahead. It's almost over. Can you read this real quick? Listen yeah, to this. This Matthew 7 and 22. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Yahawashai, Yahawashai, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye work, ye that work iniquity. Right, because it's more than just knowing that you're an Israelite. You have to live as one. All right, you have to put on as the elect. You see, and be moved with the fear of Yahweh by Shekel Shai. To feed his flock. The Lord said, if you love me, you know, feed my sheep. Right. You can't be just telling me whatever you want. You gotta be on the highways and byways. The Lord said it's up to be a spectacle to the world, man. That's now devil. Yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah, because in that day, man, it's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna talk about what they think they did, man. And it's a lot of people that think they're doing the right thing, but they sincerely doing the wrong thing, and they're gonna have to pay the price for that. Giving out turkeys, giving out book bags, and helping right motherfuckers there, out shit. is not what's gonna get you across the finish line, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Hey, can you read uh, Revelation 
two, Revelation 2 and 3, well, y'all try to visit the seven churches. So he told them the thing, he commended them on the thing they doing right. right the right. thing they doing wrong, he's like, you got to correct this, yeah. or, or I'm going to come destroy you. Pretty much yeah. that's what he yeah. said. Yeah. So it shows there's <laughs> more to it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's always room for improvement. Right. And, and the way Esau got this world set up is so wicked that the things that are the most wicked to do against the Lord are made like they are not a big deal. You know, this brother not knowing the Lord's name, and it's not his fault. He didn't know. All right, but calling on JC is the wickedest thing you can do. Yeah. Putting an idol before the Lord is the wickedest thing you can do. But everybody don't think that that's that big a deal. Being an adulterer is one of the wickedest things you can do. But that's a regular normal part of this society, man. Yeah. Just like that brother said. That's the most fucked up thing you can do. When in time of trouble, you call on a whole nother guy. Several plans, what she said. In Jesus' name, I what happened to him? That's what I was just talking about. Yeah, yeah. I said, you knew the name of the captain. He barely knew it. I was going to say, he was all fucked up. But that's what it was. It's just okay. He's not moved with spirit to really get it. That's what we have to instill. One thing we know about the Bible, it's not a feel good spirit. Hell no. If you come to serve the Lord, it's not about what makes you feel good on the inside. It's really about making yourself uncomfortable. So that you move closer. Yep. Because yep. what's comfortable in this society is not what the Lord is looking for, man. Exactly. The Lord is not looking for niggas that want to be hoes, niggas that don't have respect for the Lord, niggas that are just overall degenerate. The Lord not looking for that. You have to, and we all came from that. We all started there, but you got to turn back from that and adjust yourself to be presentable to the Lord if you want to make it, man. You yeah, be like the, Lord ain't the, the Bible said the acceptable real. men are tried in the furnace of adversity. Yeah. Right? If you're not ready to go through trials and tribulations, this is not for you. If you're not ready to lose friends and family members, this is not for you. If you're not ready to lose your woman, this is not for you. If you're not ready to lose all your life, this is not for you. The Bible said, he that findeth his life shall lose his life. Right? And what happened? A lot of these men who then became Israelites, they said, I can't deal with great millstones. Great millstone is too strict. You can't eat pork. You can't get a line up. <laughs> you can't grow your hair out. Right. This is the standard of description. That's it. Right? We're rehearsing the righteous acts. This is what the Lord said to do, man. We're not trimming our ways, man. This is what it is, whether you like it or not. I got something to say. We didn't make none of this up, man. Everything comes from the, the scriptures of God by Shem Al Shah. That's it. Uh, this is uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Therefore, if any man be in the anointed, how shot he is a new creature old things are passed away behold all things are coming so you got to kill the old man Absolutely. you wake up to the truth Absolutely. this is uh, act 4 12 neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved name you can be saved by man all right, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shai. All right, that's it. Ain't no, uh, 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 what do they say? JC, Yahweh, Yahuwah, uh -huh. uh, Jehovah, Yah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Yah. Oh, Shai. You know what I'm saying? For them uh, Caribbean sins. Caribbean yeah, shit in the back. Yeah, oh, God. Oh. Well, we know Yah is not his name because Buster Rhyme was somebody. Yah, 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 Yah. Let's be honest. Um, give me um, the book of John 17 chapter right quick. Yeah, let's go to John 17. Let's see what the Lord talk about. Let's see what the Bible talk about. This is uh, Romans 12 and uh, 2. It says, And be ye conformed to this world. It's like, it's like, it's like, it says, And be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, man. You gotta, hey, you gotta be transformed, renewed in your mind, not not of this world, because this world told us a whole taught us a whole bunch of fucked up shit. That's re, uh, reverse of your high by shit, man. shot, man. So now, we, hey, look, hoping and praying that the Lord is dealing with you. Now you gotta get into this book and understand that. Look, we gotta follow the laws that's commandments. Your high by shit, man. shot. It's a, it's the a standard that the Lord got. That he wants us to follow, that we have to follow in order to be saved. Yeah, Lord, Lord had him run into us. That's the Lord's Hey, look. Hey, hey. Yeah. 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 Just like the brother said, hey, the Lord just stretched out his hand. But guess what? 
Is that man, is that man gonna take that? Is That's he it. gonna listen to that and deal with that? Or is he gonna slap that? Either? Come on, man. Is he gonna push it away, man? Look, my girl, man, she nah, tripping, man. Because that bitch was tripping. <laughs> She was tripping a little bit before well, he, he got over Well, he was tripping too because he wasn't fully persuaded. Well, yeah. he didn't, yeah. you know, he, he didn't know, he was unsure of the name yeah. of, of the group yeah. he's learning from. He, he wasn't, was, hey, look, he didn't really learn it from that group. He just heard about it's it about, dealing with it. It's about just being able to speak, because it sound cool Yo, to say yeah, you know yeah, you know? yeah. Yo, it's, yeah. I'm, I'm walking around, you know, he got his little chick with him, <laughs> yeah, so he want to look smart to the bitch. He want to look cool with us. It's not about that, man. The first flight was that long hair. And you people, and you people need to learn, man. Because yeah, you allowing yeah, others to yeah, walk through yeah, into no, destruction. Sure. No, that's true. You know? And that's the brother like, had that speech talking about my dad told me, so I'm listening to my dad. And like I said, you know, Jake don't know no better. We all learn. All right? And it was a point in time where everybody that's up here was doing wicked ass shit, man. And was listening to what other motherfuckers were telling them the whole nine. All right? But having that spirit of, I'm allowed to, the scriptures say that you gotta seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You're not gonna be able to go to the Lord and when he asks, well, why you call on JC? And you tell him your daddy told you. That's not gonna be an excuse, man. You gotta seek the Lord 10 times more. It was our mind to go straight. You gotta seek the Lord 10 times more, man. Right. You gotta be like the church of Maria and go into these scriptures for ourselves. Right, yeah, bro. You see? So Lord make sure you had that excuse. I have no words up. Yeah. Tonight, they say yeah. No, okay. no, 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 with thee before the world was. Right, because we are the disciples of Yahweh Shai. Right, as a disciple of Yahweh Shai, you got to continue the work that Yahweh Shai was doing when he was on the earth. Right, what was he doing? Glorifying his father. Right, magnifying his father and what his father has done to, for his people. Right, helping you Israelites remember who the fuck you was. Because right. most of our people been pushed out of the land. Right. Most of our people don't join unto other nations. Right. right, what it says, um, you shall discontinue from your heritage. Yep. And the Bible says, um, there shall be a falling away. Yep. So we fell away, we discontinued from our heritage. Now, through the preaching of this gospel, we're coming back to our heritage. That's right. right. Go ahead. It says, verse 6, I have manifested thy name unto the men. What do you guys mean? You are you have the Bible, you're you, you claim you're a Christian, but we don't know the name of the Lord. Right? The Bible says, read this again. It says, John chapter 17, verse 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. So there are certain men that the Heavenly Father gave to his son. And those men, what do they have? They have the name of the Heavenly Father. Yep, sir. So any church talking about we don't know his name, oh, you fucked up. that is not. It, no, no. Those are not the men no. that the Lord gave to his son. That's Lord, a red flag. Yeah, that's a red flag. Yeah, right. <laughs> if they don't know the name, that is a red flag. Right. Yes. Run the other way. If they Jesus, it's a that red is a flag. red flag. Hey, it's like that when don't matter. That's a red flag. flag. Hey, that's like a, it's like this thing that come on a certain like YouTube video clips and shit. It's like run. Da, 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 da. Like, yeah, 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 run. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it says, um, it said, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept my word. They have kept the word, yeah. right? What's one thing about IUIC? They keep changing the word. Oh, my good. Right, because they, they they all came from, yeah. all yeah. these Israelite camps came from one west. Yeah. Yeah. Now they Muslim. Yeah. Now they walking with bases. Yeah, now they <laughs> Muslim. Right? Yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. You know, bald head. All, all these all niggas all got head. bald heads on, and bald faces, man. man. That's dreadlocks. everything. You got a thousand um, Barney looking motherfuckers marching through a neighborhood. Now we call the police and they're going to be too much time right there. Look at these dudes. This is bullshit. They got this motherfucking bull horn around here, man. I'm trying to get some goddamn sleep. Hey, man, we got no scripture. Read up, hey, man. Read up, hey, man. Read up, hey, man. What the fuck? Niggas couldn't even make their own songs. These niggas remixing it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Acts 4.12, neither is there salvation oh, in any yeah. other. Gotta read it again, yeah. Neither is there salvation in any other, yeah. for there is none other name under heaven 
given them all men, what about we must be saved? None. He have specific names. Yep. Yeah. One specific name. He don't have, he got many names. It's Jehovah Jireh. It's Jesus. It's, hey, man, look, fuck that. The man, the Lord's name is Yahweh. His son he name is your Howard Shot, man. Hey, what is he in Joel 40? What is his name? What is his son's son name? If thou can tell, man. Proverbs 30. It's Proverbs not, Proverbs it's, Proverbs it's, it's not. It's, 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 yeah, cause it's not like you think it is in the world. Oh, everybody know the name Jesus. So his name got to be Jesus. Well, no. Let's deal with names. Who has multiple names? You don't know nobody with multiple. My name is, my slave name is Gregory. If I go to Russia, you're yeah, going to yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, Mexico. It's the same yeah, shit. Shit. It's the same fucking thing. Well, Bert, though. Robert. <laughs> you can't call these niggas any old thing. Come on. Come on, man. Like, come on, man. Any, if you call somebody uh, outside of what their name really is, they get upset and they start getting pissed off. Oh, come on. Man. That's crazy. Right. You know the dumbest shit, that, that the dumbest shit ever is people say, well, his name was too hard, so we started calling him Jesus. I said, okay, now. Nah. Where did they get the that from? Well, where did they get that from? The scripture. Yeah, yeah, you it's got it from, because they, they created Jesus in the Bible. So that's why you got it from. But the thing is. Paul says the names Lord shall be um, amongst the heathen. Dreadful, dreadful amongst, amongst the heathen. Right. That's no. why the, the heathen ain't supposed yeah, to they know. They're not going to tell you, heathen. man. They're not going to tell you, man. Hell no. They, they don't, don't want you to know. Hey. They don't want us to get out of the position that we in. Yeah, yeah, because if you know that means you'll be calling on them. And you know what's crazy? Yo, they, yo, scholars that put out the information, they know, they know the true name. But guess what? They ain't gonna push it. They ain't gonna put it out there. And, you know and, what I'm saying? And that, 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 that's well, the they thing. Hit it. They, 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 they hear it. Come. Hey, hey y'all forget, man. The Lord is only coming for the elect, man. It's not about that's the whole, uh, all of Israel, man. You forgot about that part. Yeah. Right? Because we read earlier when we opened it, it says, well, like, Acts 1 and 6. But now we start or in the book of Acts, restore the kingdom unto Israel, and not unto everybody. Do it back to right, Israel. Think about the kingdom fought on this one. Why would it be for the East Indies? They, 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 right they kingdom right now. They Why? got all the gas hey. stations. Come on. Nah, no, so why would it be for the Chinese? Hey, and they got all the hair salon stores and shit. Chinese spots. Lord gonna give a kingdom to some niggas eating. These niggas eat cow shit, bro. No, no, fuck the cow shit. Yeah, they yeah. eat rats. They eat cats. They eat dogs. With they eat humans. Come on, yeah. man. I and seen a bitch. This bitch, cow this bitch took her face and just Georgia the jungle some cow shit, man. No, what, uh, what about the African that stuck his head into the, uh, what the horse ass? You, know, you, you, you got a question? You got a question? You got a question? Oh, no, it's just... Yeah, yeah, this way. Go ahead. You go that way. We are recording this way. Oh, okay. I thought you heard Yashin got excited. No, you heard the food we were talking about. He was like, where is it at? Yeah, no, we don't. He said, where is this restaurant? 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 Hey, that nigga got, that nigga was a dream. Where the fuck did that nigga come from, bro? I didn't even see that nigga walk up, bro. I looked up and the was standing right there, Joe. Oh, dear, what the fuck? The brother took a cat he dog. Like right there. Oh, shit. That nigga respawned. Oh, shit. That's what happened. That nigga respawned. That's why he said cat dog. That's why he stopped over there. I've never seen that. Oh, my God. 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 This is uh, Judith 11 and 10, chapter 11, verse 10. Therefore, O Lord and Governor, respect not his word, but lay it up in, in thine heart, for it is true. For our nation shall not be punished, neither can sword prevail against them, except they sin against their God. So, these heathens want us to keep, uh, they want to keep us, they want us to stay in iniquity. They don't want to give us the name of the Lord. That's like a lifeline for us to call. Yeah. Yeah. You see? So, uh, Judith 11 and 10. There's another example in chapter 5, I got verse that right 17. Here. I got that right here. Go ahead, go ahead. This is the book of Judith, chapter 5 and verse 17. And while as they sin not before their power, they prospered because the power that hated iniquity was with them. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles very sore and were led captives into a land that was not theirs. And the temple of their God was cast to the ground 
and their cities were taken by the enemy. But now are they returned to their power and are come up from the places where they were scattered and have possessed Jerusalem where their sanctuary is and are seated in the hill country for it was desolate. Now therefore my Lord and governor, if there be any error against this people and they sin against their power, let us consider that this shall be their ruin and let us go up and we shall overcome them. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by, lest their Lord defend them and their power before them, and we become a reproach before all the world. This backs up if the Lord before us, we can be this. That's right. 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 As long as we please in our Heavenly Father, right. we are going off. Yeah. Yeah. There's no reason for the Lord yeah. to jack, to jack yeah. us up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's why they want you calling on JC yep. and Allah yep. so and, and, and your ancestors or whatever the fuck it is niggas doing nowadays. Because these heathens know that none of them, none of them things are gonna answer the phone when you call them, man. No, no. But when you call your how about Shim Yao Shai, he's gonna pick the phone up and he's gonna come do something about what's going on down here, man. Why you guys pierce the clouds and enter into his ears? That's right. You know, our prayers, I'm sorry. Why you mean? He did say he said clouds that that's your two-thirds. Your prayers can't get through. Yeah. But the Lord here is elected. And why yeah. you think uh, why you think the man has the Lord's name, right? Because he don't want you praying to the power. Yeah. He don't want you to ask the Lord to help you and protect you and things like that. That's why he gave you all these other gods' names, man. Right. And, and the Lord said, he, he probably said that, hey, you're going to serve other gods, man, of wood yeah. and stone, man. Yeah. And that's why you do what you do. And you're not going to wake up and understand. And that's why the Lord is going to destroy you. Yeah. And that's why, that's why when you read Psalms 83, they say all the nations had a confederacy yeah, against the Israelites. It said, let, let us cut them off from being a nation. Yeah, all right, you, so you read Wisdom of Solomon in the 5th chapter. All right, we see it says, when the righteous shall stand in great boldness against yeah. such as, as have afflicted him and made no account of his labor. You read verse 2. It says, they that see it shall be afraid with terrible yes. fear, man. Yeah, that's right. what I was just thinking that uh, great fear fell upon them. You know, that saw us, two witnesses. Because here it is, you have the, the southern and the northern kingdom coming back together, gathered by the word, standing boldly before all these people, man. That's right. You see, and that's why they're moved with fear, because these, uh, these devils, they uh, they believe and tremble. And that's why they're building bunkers, all right? They're building uh, 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 robots, like Terminators, to fight yeah. against us. All right, and then they know the Lord's coming. That's why they made the whole space for us, man. Right. You see? So, hey, we're at the end, man. So, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's right. Right. Go ahead, bring us down. Are we done? Uh, All right, with that. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hey, with that, hey, we want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh. Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, we go for Dash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Melstone that rule well, and to the brothers that preach this word of truth and sincerity and charity and risking their lives to do so. To y'all, we say shalom, shalom, and above, 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 Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>